sapiens, a brief history of humankind. By Yavu, Yavu Noah Harari, an Israeli historian. Blah, blah, blah. Hi guys, and welcome to a new episode on the channel. And today we will be talking about sapiens, a brief history of humankind by Yuval Noah Harari and turns out the eye is a thumbprint. So let's get started. Now firstly, what is this book about? Well, today we'll just be talking about part one. Now part one is an awesome time of history. So today we'll just be talking about the Cognitive Revolution. Why? Let's just, why is it called the Cognitive Revolution? Well, it's because it, we just figured out, at least according to this book, of how to use stone tools and how to use wooden tools, especially wooden, especially wooden. And now, an animal of no significance. Firstly, we have to talk about humans. Now, humans are pretty much the, at least now, most highest human, highest animal of all. Well, back then, there are loads and loads of humans. Homo erectus, uh, Homo sapiens, Homo sapiens sapiens, which are technically us, and a lot of other things, too. Also, the uh, Homo... Yeah, the Homo erectus and the Homo neanderthal Elias, and so on and so on. And it turns out most of the Eurasian DNA has one to four percent Neanderthal, which means that we st we're not pure Homo sapiens. We'll be generally talking about us, our species of humans, as sapiens because that's our scientific name, Homo sapiens. That's a fun fact: sapiens means wise and homo means man so technically our scientific name means wise man so homo sap so homo sapiens sapiens we'll talk about all of the other humans and as a whole group humans so let's just get started and more and then we decided to do a lot of things firstly we are divided and separated from the chimpanzee or ape lineage and eventually we were able to walk on two legs, like this at first, but then we evolved into this, then this, then this, and then taller, and then taller, and then taller. And now you can't see my face. But then, yeah, how does it sort of work out? Well, let's talk about the Tree of Knowledge next. Now, the Tree of Knowledge is one of those legends that don't seem to work out as we might have ever thought of. Now, Homo sapiens just figured out how to use a lot of things. The Homo sapiens just figured out how to use fire to cook their stuff. Now, fire is really a useful, useful resource as it can cook meals by changing the chemistry of the food, but not only that, but also changing the properties of it to make it more nutritious, to make, to kill all the bacteria or other very harmful bacteria or organisms that may be living on it, and also to make it less chewy, for that matter. And also it helped kill a lot, kill a lot of, a lot of predators, wild animals, and also it helped into hunting and got whatever meat they got pre-roasted or pre-cooked should i say and now let's talk about a day and life of adam and eve now who are adam and eve well according to the bible those are the first two people first two people to ever find to ever find themselves on earth they were the first two humans a man and a woman and in most paintings their origins are usually them naked and in front of a tree of life at least that's what i call it and some sort of a god i trying to actually just search it up yourself and you'll see what i mean and they were the first two humans but we aren't actually going to talk about a daily life in adam and eve but what we are going to talk about is how the humans actually existed along their time humans have been existing for millions of years and we've decided to learn how to make tools we get supplies and we use those supplies to create tools and use those tools to get better stuff and upgrade them and then we sort of get a good picture of what we sort of think of ourselves to stuff and also we need to understand our nature so that we can sort of guess how we should do it but now ancient humans brains may have been bigger because they had to have a lot more 
memorization than the average human that we need today. We know more, but back then it was just survival. And that's why it's very important to do that. And when we talk about some things, it never ever sort of helps us into survival. Even though you might be curious, survival is our first. Now today we might not think of survival as a very big need, but since, but, and we are the luckies. We are the lucky few. And there's a lot of things to talk about too. The Africans and a lot of mass, and then the first mass extinction, first mass human extinctions happened. A lot of humans died off, and only like a few, few, like a few tens and tens, tens of tens just survived of species. Like firstly, they help with twenty two species of humans eventually dying a few species extinct going since the, a few human species getting extinct in australia and africa and by the way uh, the first humans appeared in africa and they all migrated all the way to all over the world and that's how they got all over the world eventually breeding with other humans and coming with us as the not pure humans but there are two series for this interbreeding in the interbreeding theory or the or the replacing theory in the interbreeding theory b two human species have started breeding together to make mixed ones until they all merged until none none of the pures left pures will be very really rare and then and another the replacing theory is that we're all pure pure versions but it's just that we have killed off others and and just lost the fight and got the other humans to lose the fight over resources and minor genocides. But that's about it for part one. And that's how the cognitive revolution happened. And also, I'd like to suggest that the Stone Age would be more accurately called the Wooden Age because during the Stone Age, a lot of wooden tools were used. Actually, more than stone tools, but yeah. Because wood is easier to use and make for the matter, even though they're weaker. But for now, let's just keep it here. So hi, I hope you guys enjoyed something new in this episode. And if you learned something new in this episode, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next episode. Oh, and I have a question for you guys. Why do you think evil is here? Shannon out, and peace. Ba 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 challenge. Write in the comments below. Bum 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 bum. Of what our lives would be if all if some or some of the human species have still lived today would there be roman legions and the Andersal roman legions or would there be a, a neanderthal nazi hitler or would there be like neanderthal me or neanderthal you or homo erectus hitler or homo erectus i guess you get the point hope you guys enjoyed this see ya